In this video, you will learn simple division, yung order of operation or kilalang MDAS, yung regarding sa rule of exponent na may negative base, yung percentage. Hindi ko nababasahin yung mga references natin, kundi ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito kasi marami na tayong na-upload regarding sa order of operations. At doon sa mga na-upload natin, Marami tayong mga references na galing mismo sa grade 4, grade 5, grade 6, grade 7 at yung elementary algebra na mga libro. Pero sa video ito, hindi na natin yun i-review kasi mayroon na nga tayong na-upload. So, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito. Number 1. 4 divided by 10. Is it equal to 10 divided by 10? 4. Ang 10 dito, divisor. Ito ang, dito naman sa kabila, ang 4 ang divisor. For sure, false yan siya. Pero, i-double check natin. 4 divided by 10, that is equals to 0.4. While ang 10 divided by 4, that is equals to 2.5. 0. 0.4, this is equals to 0. 0.4. And this is equals to 2.5. So, hindi sila equal. So, ang sagot dito ay false. Now, let's do number 2. Dito sa number 2, meron ding sumagot na true. This is false. Bakit siya false, ma'am? Remember order of operation. Operations. Step number one, parenthesis or groupings. Wala man tayong parenthesis dito. Step number two, exponents. Step number three, multiplication or division. They rank equally, kaya we will solve them from left to right. Step number four, addition or subtraction, they rank equally, kaya we will solve them from left to right. Kilala itong PEMDAS, PEMDAS, or MDAS lang. P ang una, next exponent, next ang multiplication and division, left to right, whichever comes first. Tapos, addition and subtraction, yan yung fang fourth step, whichever comes first from left to right. Ngayon dito sa number two, multiplication and division lang siya. Nauna si division dito. So, unahin natin yan. Ten divided by five equals two times, four, uh, times two is equals to four. So, this one is equals to four. Next. 5 times 2, that is 10. Divided by 10, that is equals to 1. 1 is not equals to 4. So, therefore, false ang sagot dito. Now, i-double check natin yan using calculator. Wait, sa. I-delete natin ito. Dito sa calculator tayo muna. That is 10 divided by 5 times 2. And that is equals to 4. Next, 5 times 2 divided by 10 and that is equals to 1. So, therefore, tama yung sagot natin na false itong number 2. Number 3, this is negative 2 na may exponent, even exponent. Is it equals to negative 2? na yung negative at yung 2 ay meron siyang exponent, even exponent. Now, ang tanong kung equal ba yan? The answer is, they are not equal. Kasi sa law of exponent, yung pinaka nearest lang ang ni-raise ng 2. Unless na lang kung nasa loob ng parenthesis, pati itong negative, ni-raise din siya ng 2. Therefore, ang sagot dito, this is negative 2 times 2 kasi ang ni-raise niya ay itong 2 lang. Kaya ang sagot dito ay negative 4. While ito naman, this is equals to 
negative 2, bali yung solution niya ay negative 2 times negative 2, that is equals to positive 4. Therefore, hindi sila equal, kaya ang sagot dito ay false. Now, i-double check natin using calculator. So, that is negative 2, ni-raise natin ng 2, wait lang, ni-raise natin ng 2, yung mga parenthesis, i-delete lang natin. That is equals to negative 4. Next, yung isa naman ay parihong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Tapos ni-raise natin ng 2. Wait, ipang delete natin yan para pariho lahat. So, this is negative 2. Parihong nasa loob ng parenthesis bago ni-raise ng 2. And that is equals to positive 4. Now, doon tayo sa scientific calculator. Let's use scientific calculator calculator negative 2 raised to 2 parihong nasa loob ng parenthesis and that is equals to negative 4 next negative 2 lahat yung tong negative pati yung 2 ay nasa loob ng parenthesis pago ni raise ng 2 and this is equals to positive 4 therefore False itong number 3. Now, dito na tayo sa number 4. Ang number 4, this is 1 half percent. Is it equals to 0.5 percent? Ignore mo na natin yung percent sign. 1 half, is it equal to 0.5? The answer is yes. 1 divided by 2, that is equals to 0.5. Now, lalagyan mo lang ng percent sign. Pariho lang yan sila. Kasi ito, may percent sign. Ito, may percent sign. Unless na lang kung yung isa ay walang percent sign. Pariho silang 1 half. So, therefore, itong number 4 ay true. 0.25 is equals to 1 Fourth, kung si 0.25 percent that is also equals to one fourth percent, but 0.25 percent is not equal to one fourth lang dapat may percent. Wait, balikan natin itong one half one half na ito mismo. Ang 50 percent that is equals to one half lang. While ang one half percent, tignan mo ha, whole number man yan siya, yan ay fraction less than one percent yan siya. That is equals to one over two hundred or point zero zero five. Take note, kapag sinabing percent, percent per one hundred. Anyway, marami naman tayong na-upload with regards sa 1 half percent versus sa 50 percent. Always remember, ang 1 half ay less than yan sa 1. Ang 50 ay more than yan sa 1. So, 1 is less than 50. Ano ba ang malaki? Mas malaki or mas marami yung 50 kaysa 1? Ang 1, mas malaki sa 1 half. So, there is no other way na si 1 half ay pariho sa 50. Unless na lang kung itong si 50 ay merong percent sign. Now, kung ito namang si 1 half ang may percent sign, okay? 1 half percent that is the same as 0.5 percent. Wala pa tayong kinonvert. Kasi itong fraction na to, ginawa lang nating decimal. Wala pa tayong kinonvert dyan. Ngayon, kung i-convert natin yan, na i-drop natin yung percent sign, this is equals to 0 0.005. In a way, marami na tayong na-upload kung paano mag-convert ng percentage. Percentage to decimal, decimal to percentage. So, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito, Kaya, please, panoorin nyo yon kung hindi nyo naintindihan ito. Now, let's do number 5. Kapag sinabing percent, that means per 
100 percent per cent means per 100 so itong 10,000 percent that means 10,000 per 100 10,000 divided by 100 and that is equals to 100 therefore ang number 5 ay true Thank you for watching at abangan yung mga future videos natin. Again, meron akong nilalagay na mga links dito sa description ng video ito for more examples. Thank you.